News. That breaking news in DeKalb County right now where the roads are still closed off after a bus was hijacked. I'm Tori Cooper and I'm Alan Devlin. Atlanta News First was the first to show you live pictures of police actually trying to stop this bus. It was first hijacked on Ivan Allen Jr. Boulevard in downtown Atlanta. The bus then hopped on Interstate 85 in Gwinnett County before exiting on Jimmy Carter Boulevard and eventually stopping on Hewell Hugh Howell Road in DeKalb County. Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery is live there now where police still investigating. And Madeline, I understand he spoke to a man whose wife was on that bus. I did. He's still shocked that she had anything to do with this situation where investigators are still caught up figuring out what exactly happened. I see there's a bus speeding towards our direction and it starts going to the wrong side of the road. A shocking day for Atlanta drivers. This big cloud of debris happened and then police just started passing us. It felt like forever. This Gwinnett Transit bus hijacked, according to Atlanta police, and taken on a high speed chase with 17 passengers inside. So it's almost like a disbelief. You, know, you, you just you don't really realize that, OK, this really did happen. John Gilbert's wife, Paulette, already had an eventful day. She called me after lunch and she said, you are not going to believe this. There was a shooting in the food court. When she called again, she was on this bus. Just, just some guy that, uh, that was on the bus and then this other guy gets on the bus being disruptive. And the guy supposedly asked him to, you know, behave himself or whatever, calm down. And I don't know if that was, that's what started the, the verbal fight, but the next thing we know, the, he was shot. John told Paulette to lay low while he stayed on the phone. I lost contact with her for about 50 minutes, so I had no idea what was going on. The worst, honestly, I had no idea. Uh, never felt like that before. So we've been together for a long time. During that time, police and state troopers were using spike strips to stop the bus. Once they did, they found one man shot. He eventually died. They arrested 39 year old Joseph Greer as the suspected gunman and hijacker. I'm just glad it's over with you know, at least that that part of it. I, I mean, I have no idea what's going to happen here next, but I'm just glad that she's, she's all right. Police say Joseph Greer has been arrested 19 previous times and he is a convicted felon. Reporting live in Smoke Rise, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.